Good afternoon. My name is Andrew Romans, and I'm a general partner at 7BC Venture Capital. And I just, I just wanted to speak very briefly about some of the trends that we're investing in and that are exciting to us right now. Um, I guess for this talk, I'll keep it very short. There's been a lot of discussion about artificial intelligence, um, automation of different tasks. And I think that we're now really seeing startups that manage to get robotic process automation, true ML and DL technologies to the point that they're in production with customers generating significant revenue. And what we're seeing is that some of the tasks that were done by humans can be done by technology much, much faster. Um, I mean, literally, when you looked at um, World War II and the English were trying to decipher the enigma, you know, as a code breaker that forced them to make a computer to do it and um, that it couldn't be done by humans. Um, so it's just a metaphor for what we're seeing in the world of technology startups. There are startups that are truly getting to these breakthrough areas of technologies that um, do either all or part of what a human was doing, and they're doing it better, faster, 24-7, no union, <laughs> and all that. And then the humans that were doing that need to, are moving on to other areas that we need, like cybersecurity. You know, take, for example, you've got a large corporation that has a, you know, thousands of people working in the accounting department, and um, maybe 80% of those jobs are going to go away. Literally 20% of the people there can do all that work and more um, with the use of technology. And so those same people that are good at numbers, they look at computer screens all day, hardly speak with anyone, might be able to be retrained to work in an emerging cybersecurity department. I think that you know, beyond meddling with elections or you know, robbing banks, every corporation is a target for cybersecurity. And no one likes to be on the front page that all their customers' information is in the wrong hands. So I think that it's an example of software to you know, automate human activity and also predict changes that we're gonna have, as well as how to retool those same people to perhaps stay with the same company and be working in growing departments that are coming. So I think HR, companies can become technology companies. If your company was headhunting, placing people in a company, outsourcing, gig economy type transitions, you might find yourself being a technology provider who's actually bringing the tech in because of your deep understanding of HR. So just one trend that is taking off at a lot of our mind share, and we are working hard to see every single company doing something in this area. What we are finding is that the good ones are able to save so much money or increase revenue. For example, there's one company that provides software bots to pharma companies that interprets data and creates reports that took days and weeks for humans to do. They've lowered the payroll by removing six and a half million dollars worth of payroll for just one small little department and they can land and expand into enormous revenue with this one big pharma company. Beyond that, every day that the drug is not being sold is understood to be the loss of you know, $1 million of revenue per day, perishing like an unsold plane ticket on a flight from San Francisco to Beijing last night. So if they can speed and collapse the time to get that um, new product on the market, that's worth millions of dollars. So over time, these startups are adding real value. They're part of a real technology trend migration. And we want to be the ones that invest in them and help them get customers, invest in them again, help them get other strong investors, and crystallize liquidity events in the form of IPO, M&A. And some may stay private for a long time. And so we may liquidate some of our position on the secondary market. Just a thought of the day.